principle will operate from a brain center with machines such as this one. Recently, there was a study by economist David Attor of MIT that states that our middle class is obsolete and being replaced by automation. Quite simply, mechanization is more productive, efficient, and sustainable than human labor in virtually every sector of the economy today. Machines do not need vacations, breaks, insurance, pensions, and they can work 24 hours a day every day. The output potential and accuracy compared to human labor is unmatched. The bottom line, repetitive human labor is becoming obsolete and impractical across the world. And the unemployment you see around you today is fundamentally the result of this evolution of efficiency in technology. For years, market economists have dismissed this growing pattern, which could be called technological unemployment, because of the fact that new sectors always seem to emerge to reabsorb the displaced workers. Today, the service sector is the only real hub left and currently employs over 80% of the American workforce, with most industrialized countries maintaining a similar proportion. However, this sector is now being challenged increasingly by automated kiosks, automated restaurants, and even automated stores. Economists today are finally acknowledging what they have been denying for years. Not only is technological unemployment exasperating the current labor crisis we see across the world due to the global economic downturn, but the more the recession deepens, the faster the industries are mechanizing. The catch, which is not realized, is that the faster they mechanize to save money, the more they displace people, the more they reduce public purchasing power. This means that while the corporation can produce everything more cheaply, fewer and fewer people will actually have money to buy anything, regardless of how cheap they become. The bottom line is that the labor for income game is slowly coming to an end. In fact, if you take a moment to reflect on the jobs which are in existence today, which automation could take over right now if applied, 75% of the global workforce could be replaced by mechanization tomorrow. Space plant in Whitehall, Michigan. 2,100 employees are working three shifts a day, seven days a week. German born CEO Klaus Kleinfeld says Alcoa's competitive edge is innovation, backed up by a skilled workforce. They're producing parts that make jet engines 50% more fuel efficient. I would love to show you how the airflow goes inside, but that's part of probably the best kept secret that this industry has. That's the innovation I'm talking about. And a person just can't walk off the street and put that together for Impossible. Him. Kerry Bellinger came to Okoa with an engineering degree. The company trained her to program robots to do the work that 50 years ago was done by hand. Alcoa also helped pay for Rod Coley to go back to school and get his engineering degree. He x-rays parts to make sure they're perfect before they leave the factory. So what do you say to friends and relatives who may be looking for a job? Well, me, me personally, I say get your education. The environment is changing all the time. There are big changes, and I think this is the heart of what is new. Uh, what's new now is that employers are not expecting to hire and train people. If you turn the clock back a generation ago, there really was none of this discussion about skill gaps and skill problems. Because companies provided the training? Companies did it themselves. Companies are now saying, for all kinds of reasons, we're not going to do it anymore. And maybe they're right, they can't do it. Um, but what they probably can't do is say, we're not going to do it and it's your problem. It's your problem to provide us with what we need. All employers across all industries have the same needs. They need skilled tradespeople, skilled technicians, engineers, computer programmers, and those with an analytical and scientific background. We cordially invite you to attend Catalyst of the Invention Revolution, where your student can touch and feel this new emerging technology. Hopefully this event will motivate them to choose one of these careers so they are prepared for the future.